Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Soundpeats Frame S, a multifunction pair of sunglasses with built in Bluetooth 5.0 aptX 16mm drivers for your listening pleasure. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at the Frame S from Soundpeats. This is a rather unusual device. So we've got a combination here of sports sunglasses and also built-in Bluetooth headphones. Well, speakers, I guess you would call them because they technically don't go on your ears or actually in your ears, unlike earpods or headphones. But they do give you some really good sound quality via Qualcomm's APTX HD chipset, which is built in here, the QCC3040. You really have got a lot of cool features in these. And when I first saw them, I thought it was somewhat of a gimmick. Now, these were actually sent to us very kindly by Ugly Bob, so thank you, Ugly Bob. And I've actually had them here for a little while, but uh, because the weather in the UK isn't always the best, and as you can possibly tell, it is very sunny at the moment, so sunglasses for some people are an absolute must. And also being able to listen to your phone or listen to some music while you're doing various tasks. Maybe you're out riding a bike, um, whatever you want to do. Maybe you're hang gliding, paragliding, I don't know, whatever it is, whatever your sport may be, these are just the ticket. So we're gonna go through today, do a quick unboxing, show you exactly what you get, we'll talk about some of the features, and also we'll give you some practical demonstrations so you can hear what the microphone sounds like and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I can't really show you how, or let you hear how good the sound quality is. Um, I have done some recordings a little bit earlier on, so I'll try and sneak those in every now and then in the video so you can hear what they actually sound like. But realistically, you kind of have to try these for yourself. Anyway. Let's move on. So first of all, packaging wise, as you can see, this is Soundpeats Frame S, and it gives you an idea of what they look like on the front there. On the side, it says Sound for Urban Sports, so it gives you a kind of idea of what they are used for. More things on the back. And also on this side, we've got some of the technical specifications. Uh, but that is pretty much it. So let's uh, unbox them and see what it's like inside. Now obviously, because I've been using these, a lot of the packaging has actually been opened, but you will get it firmly sealed and all that kind of good stuff. So starting off, we get the instruction manual, which actually goes through, tells you how to pair them, uh, what the buttons do, how to control it, how to charge it, and all those kinds of things. So yeah, that's all well and good. You get a USB type A connection. So this is for actually charging. If you've used any kind of sports devices before, or maybe even things like uh, the Apple Watch, sports watches, that kind of thing, this is not rocket science. So essentially there's two magnets in here, spring prongs, and they just attach to the arm of the glasses in order to charge them up. Charging doesn't take very long at all, less than an hour in uh, my instance. Obviously, depending on what sort of charger you're using, your time may vary. When the device is actually fully charged, you do have somewhere in the region about five hours in total usage of them. Again, that is going to come down to volume levels. If you have them quite low, then they actually do last considerably longer. And in fact, I still haven't actually charged them once yet. So I've used them for a good, I don't know, maybe seven or eight hours in total. So yeah, that'll give you some idea of what the battery life could potentially be like. Also included, you do get a rather nice Soundpeats cloth. So this is for obviously cleaning the uh, acrylic lens. The acrylic lens is both UVA and UVB protected. There's no polarization on the lens, but uh, certainly does the job and will protect your eyes from things like uh, stones flicking up, that sort of stuff, if you're taking them out maybe on your mountain bike or whatever the case may be, things like that, or maybe even uh, the old occasional fly flying into your path, they're gonna bounce off the uh, frame very, very easily. Also included, there are some adjustable bridges here, so you can put these on. Depending on the size of your nose, you can change the bridges. There's three sizes, a small, medium, and large, so yeah, choose whichever one works for you. And then looking inside, we get the actual glasses themselves. So this is something where it may or may not be for everybody. So the actual design of them are kind of a cross between Kylo Ren and the Terminator. I'm not entirely sure where you personally stand on that. Please let us know in the comment section what you think about the actual design of them. I think a lot of it obviously comes down to the fact that you do have to have the battery and also the technology in the arm somewhere. It has to live somewhere. So the design wise, all the uh, setup, the frame, etc., has been designed with all that in mind and obviously to be able to support that weight, of which there isn't a great deal of weight. These weigh in at around about 43 to 44 grams. I uh, weighed them earlier and yeah, they switched between the two, so I would say 43 grams. Essentially at 43 grams, they are extremely lightweight, which actually has a lot of benefits. If you are gonna be using these in a sports environment, then because they are low weight, that also means they've got a low mass, 
So if you're bumping around, the actual kind of weight of them isn't gonna make them try and fly off. So they do t seem actually to uh, stay ratherly well planted on your head. Now clearly, obviously, depending on the size of your head and how much clamping force on the side, but actually the clamping force isn't very much, but they yeah, feel very comfortable and being very lightweight, like I said, they're not gonna go flying away at the uh, slightest bump. The actual frame itself along the top here is uh, made from polyamide, which uh, I've actually not heard of before, but apparently it's um, known for being pretty strong and resilient and will take knocks and bumps and all that kind of good stuff and also remains lightweight at the same time. So let's take a look at the actual features themselves. So like I said, this is using the Qualcomm QCC3040 chipset, which supports Bluetooth 5.0, 5.1, also has built in aptX HD, so sound quality is gonna be excellent. 16 mil drivers, which actually you can't actually see, but they kind of, you can tell they're in there. So they are actually hidden in this kind of hump section here. And obviously there is one on each side. So the actual sound itself gets pumped out from the sides. And also there's a very small slit there, which is kind of angled towards your ear. So if you imagine it's there when you're actually wearing them, the kind of the sound is being directed towards your ears down there and also out a little bit, which the reason it actually aims out a little bit is actually to widen the sound stage. Now, something which you don't often get, especially in uh, headphones, ear pods, that kind of thing, is the actual widened sound stage. Now, you can, with certain kinds of software and kind of different frequency adjustments, actually, in the hardware, but these actually do it in a way that actually is pretty natural. So, because the sound is being pumped out in two directions, it does seem like a wider sound stage. Now, obviously, they're not going to sound as good as AirPods or on-ear headphones, that kind of stuff, because they're but basically they're not in your ears or not on your ears. So you are gonna have the other things creeping in. So if there's other noises going on, then you are gonna hear them. They are no way noise canceling in any way, shape or form. But that is part of the beauty of these because they're designed so that you do have a, a very good awareness of what is going on around you. So again, if you're using these for sports, uh, maybe for running, jogging, that sort of thing, just riding your bike, you're gonna be fully aware of your surroundings. So if there is a big truck coming up alongside you, you're definitely gonna hear it and um, yeah, it's gonna drain out the music, but that's kind of what it's meant to do. These are kind of more safety focused in terms of obviously protecting your eyes from UVA, UVB, also protecting from projectiles, and also obviously allowing you to hear your surroundings. So yeah, that all kind of makes perfect sense. In order to control them, there is a little push sensor button on the side there. So this is pressure sensitive. So if you're using it just with your hands, fine. If you're wearing gloves, maybe you're cycling or I don't know, maybe skiing or something like that, then even with gloves on, it still works because it is pressure sensitive rather than being touch sensitive. So that's a, a, a pretty sensible inclusion. The arms themselves are pretty long and pretty straight. So very comfortable. They don't kind of hook around the back of your ear. So depending on obviously the size of your head and the shape of your head, then they're going to fit very comfortably. Also on the same side where the uh, kind of control button is, which is just there, there's also the charging point, which is probably a little bit difficult to show you, but there is a charging point just there. So you can see there's some metal contacts there. That is using this cable, so it is magnetic. This is something which might take a little bit of getting used to because you do have to kind of line it up. And uh, when it connects, it automatically turns the power off, all that kind of stuff. The only thing is the magnet isn't overly strong, so you have to make sure that the actual charging connection is firmly connected. And if you put the glasses down, then you might find that they actually lose connection as they have done there. So that is something which possibly they could work on for the next design, but yeah, seems to do the job okay. Just do bear that in mind. Turning them on and turning them off is super easy and super cool. So all you do is close down the arms and you probably heard that from the microphone. It did say power off. I'll open it up again. So it says power on. There you go. And pairing. So then you get the red and blue flashing light to say that it's pairing. And then when you close that down, you get the power off signal. So it's all very good, works excellently. I like the fact that there is some kind of uh, verbal command that tells you what's going on, that is excellent. Talking of commands, actually to control things like your music, play, pause, etc. then we're just using that pressure sensitive button. So you don't have a ton of different buttons. It's just one single button to do all that kind of stuff. So single press is gonna be usual things. So that is gonna be play or pause or answer a call, that kind of stuff. To reject a call, kind of press and hold or to skip tracks, press a couple of times. To rewind, press three times, etc., etc. Press and hold and it will bring up your assistant on your phone, which uh, all works very well. Tried that earlier in the garden, absolutely fine. The only thing it does miss out on really is volume control. There isn't any built-in volume control, so you are gonna to have to control the volume via your device, such as your phone, 
um, or returns flee if you're wanting to do it, you could press and hold the button, call up your digital assistant and then tell them to increase the volume or obviously decrease the volume should you wish to. It's actually quite handy as well because you can press the button and say what time is it and it'll tell you the time sort of thing. So if you're kind of on your bike or running or whatever, then yeah, there are definitely options there. So yeah, overall, pretty decent. The sound quality, I'll try and give you an example of the sound quality now. This is recorded in the garden earlier, so you're going to get some background noises as well. Uh, I'm not too sure how it's going to come out, so uh, let's listen to that now. So actually pretty good, sounds good when you're actually wearing them. The sound quality is really good. Obviously you're not gonna get that sort of over exaggerated bass that you get with headphones or earphones because it's not sealing your ear completely. But even still, the bass is present. Mid-range is excellent, treble is absolutely fantastic. It doesn't get to that point where it's kind of hissy or anything. I guess that's down to the APTX HD technology. The microphone is actually a dual mic setup. So there is a microphone on the outside of the arm, which is just about visible there. So that is gonna take into account what is going on around you. And also there is another microphone port on the bottom there. So that is gonna take basically what you're saying. So yeah, works very well. And in fact, let's give you an example of what it sounds like now. Okay, so this is a audio recording of the Soundpeats S using the built-in microphone, currently recording into my iPhone XR using the Voice Memos app. Uh, this is in currently in our living room. So just uh, going in, closing the blinds down for the evening and, uh, saying good night to the evening sun so no need for sunglasses at the moment so anyway, hopefully this sounds pretty good uh, i'll be listening back to it and then i will report back to you in a video let you know what it's like uh, let's see what other sounds like in the background so this is the sound of my trainers on the floor and uh, typing on the keyboard so it'll be interesting to see actually what the noise rejection is like on that and clicking the mouse on the desk there you go so there you go, not too bad at all. Sounds pretty clear, pretty crisp, and the noise cancelling side of it, when I was typing on the keyboard and squeaking my shoes, etc., you could quite easily make a telephone call with these when you're out and about. Obviously, if you're uh, hurtling down a mountain, it's probably not the best time to be taking a telephone call, but certainly, if you wanted to, you could do. But overall, I think these are actually pretty decent. Something we haven't talked about yet is going to be the price. So price-wise for these, they do differ massively, depending where you're looking. Uh, as of today, which is the 22nd of June, 2022, these currently are retailing on Amazon.co.uk for $39.99, although I have seen them also on eBay for $29.99. So for £30, excellent, can't fault it at all. For £40, I guess you kind of have to think, are you going to be taking advantage of the kind of sports aspect of this, which I guess is what it's down to really. If you're looking for a set of kind of wireless earbuds, or set of headphones, then really those are gonna be the better things to do. But if you are looking to combine it with your daily run, your cycling, your commute on your uh, electric scooter, that sort of thing, then yeah, these do tick both boxes and tick them actually very well. This is the first time I've tried uh, a set as good as this. I have tried ones previous, which were from somewhere like AliExpress, which were essentially about $15, $20. And uh, I'll be honest with you, they were absolutely hideous. The controls didn't work. The arms were wobbling and falling off. Whereas this is actually a really nice robust setup and does give you the flexibility of changing things like the bridge on there. So for comfort, et cetera, et cetera, it all well and good. So overall, excellent, can't really fault it. I'd like to be able to try some other ones actually in the market to see kind of what the other experience is like. I know you can get ones which are considerably more expensive. I'd be interested to see if actually if it is worth spending that extra money if you are looking for a set of sports headphones that have kind of glasses built in or sports glasses that have a headset built in however you want to look at it anyway thanks again to ugly bob for sending these for review purposes and thanks for to you for watching i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews and how to and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video
Thanks for watching.